Yes, we have come all the way to Milan for one reason and one reason only, to visit the San Siro. AC Milan, one of the biggest clubs in world football. 19 Serie A titles, 5 Coppa Italias, 7 Champions Leagues, yes 7, and the list goes on. Despite not being as dominant or successful as they once were, they're still the current champions of Italy. They're home of course, the iconic San Siro, which looks set to be demolished in the next few years or so, so we had to get over to Italy, take in an AC Milan game, and see what it was all about. This is where all the designer stuff and posh stuff is. It's, it's mad. Like the cathedral is just out there. What a place. Pizza, beer, absolutely cannot complain. Look at this. Lovely. We've just ended up in like a retro football shop. What's this? It's Come. coming home for Christmas. England top. Turn it around. Bellingham. You gonna buy it? Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted <laughs> to bring it back out. I'm tempted to bring it out. Oh, no it's way. Right what? next to the you cathedral in Milan. Home, can you? That's class. I cannot believe, right, we're just literally right outside the cathedral in the centre of Milan. Just been in that shop. Yeah. There was a villa shirt, man. Yeah, like, there was two? There was two villa shirts. Yeah. There was hardly any English teams. A few, few Man City, but like retro English teams. There was only villa. Yeah, it was like a 04, 05. And a, what was it, like a third shirt, 96? Yeah, like, like a, a child's version ASC as well. Man. You don't see many of really them. Really class. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> So, plan of action, we've just travelled about 20 minutes out of the centre of Milan. We're just going to go to our hotel, which is just over there. It's about 3 o'clock now, and then we'll head to the, head to the San Siro a little bit later, have a walk around there, see what it's all about. Just having a quick beer in the uh, hotel lounge before we head to the San Siro. A bit of context then, AC Milan are sick. They're having a bit of a horrible season. I think they've like, lost their last four games in Syria. They're playing Torino, who are the place below them. Quite a substantial amount of points behind them. So, a, a pretty, a pretty big game. I think AC Milan need to keep up with the pack because it is quite tight. Napoli, as we know, have run away with the league. But it is pretty tight around there. So, AC Milan needs to get back on course. Big game. How are we feeling then, San Siro? You've never been before? No, no, never. Buzzing, That's iconic cool. stadium. Yeah. I wanted to visit before the knocking down, so buzzing for tonight. Yeah, it's one of those grounds there where there's like bucket list grounds, you know, you always want to visit it, and I think it's going to be a really good um, night, really, under the lights as well. Oh, um, yes. In a bit of a naff bit of form, but I think they'll do it, to be fair. First thoughts on that? Unbelievable, honestly. It's, it's got, I feel the park's got nothing on it, really. <laughs> Come on. Come straight out of the train station. I mean, the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but what an arena that is. A little San Siro food review from all the uh, places just outside. I've got some sort of ham and cheese panini. You've got, you've gone, you've doubled up. You've doubled, doubled up. up. A little bit of a burger. It doesn't be the, doesn't be the villa burger. But no. Do you know what? We're able to. There's taste no, it. there's no like soggy onions or anything you see outside Villa Park, but it looks like it'll do. It'll do. This is a bit wild. Long queues. Nice view. Horrible. This place is absolutely outrageous. Genuinely one of the most incredible football stadiums I've ever seen. I'm not even in there yet. It's just iconic, absolutely iconic in world football. And I cannot wait to get inside there. Class. Time to go up the swirly. Let's have it. You've got your Newcastle. Your Newcastle stairs. Yeah, forget your Newcastle stairs, your Sunderland stairs. This swirl is what it's all about. We are so incredibly high, but it didn't disappoint this place. I mean, it is dated, you can tell why they're doing a new one, but it's outrageous. It's, it's just, it's a different level, isn't it? It's just crazy. It's like, it just feels huge. Yeah, it feels massive. massive. Facility's not so great. It's went to the toilet, it's a bit uh, not great, <laughs> but um, now nah, what a place, though. What an arena. The toilets are like a literal hole in the floor. It's a bit bizarre. Not 
obviously this is the stand that we're in, all of this here. And the only toilets are in this old, strange little thing here. My score prediction, I'm going to go 1-0 Milan. I think it's going to be a tight game. But Olivier Giroud is playing. I absolutely love him. I've loved him for the last 10 years. Absolute baller. So underrated. Rafael Leal. AC Milan have got some very, very good players. They should realistically be winning this tonight. 1-0 Giroud. Match. So, we're underway and I was just amazed at how laid back it all was compared to what I'm used to back in English football. People standing where they want, obviously drinking beer in the stands and I was warned about this clear plastic wall as well. AC Milan at the San Siro, or Aston Villa under 21s. I know what I'd rather watch. Under <laughs> 21s at the moment, this would be terrible. <laughs> so, like we said, pretty terrible game of football and this guy was clearly bored as well. Probably say there was half chances for both teams. The big hitters like Giroud and Liao were proper struggling. Going back to the beer situation, look at this fella. You can probably tell how bad the game is because you were watching the Villa reserves all the first half. Yeah, cracking goal by uh, Amari Kelly. Man, yeah, the shout out to the under 21s. Shout out to the under 21s because it was a cracking goal. I'm multitasking watching this, watching a bit of the under 21s. It's yeah. not great, is it? Like, I said to you, it's not yeah, a great it's, advert for Italian football. It's the standard, isn't it? It's like, they, you know what? It's always been like this in Italy, but it's like the stop start, making sure all the referees yeah. like, blowing for everything. It feels like really slow, but. The quality's not yeah, there either, really. It's not. Like some of the big hitters, like. Shirou. Now on the wing, yeah. Shirou and Tonali. Tonali's been poor as well. He's meant to be highly rated. It's not happening. I don't think either side's really been great, to be honest. <laughs> not a great game at all. Written all over it. Yep. Everyone's heading for the hole in the floor. Toilet, good luck. Smoking was a massive thing as well. I noticed it whilst walking around the city of Milan. A lot of people were smoking and that carried on into the stadium as well. Anyway, the second half was underway and finally we had a half decent chance. Oh, save. And then the boys, Giro had a chance. How's this not gone in? And then the flares and the pyro started to come out from the AC Milan Ultras and eventually the main man stepped up and I was just relieved I didn't go all that way for a nil-nil to be honest. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Giroud goal didn't really open up the game and this was probably Torino's best chance. So we did finish 1-0 in the end to AC Milan, which was very much needed because they'd lost their previous four games. However, since this game against Torino, they've gone on to win their next two games, both by a scoreline of 1-0, including one against Spurs in the Champions League. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. A pretty horrific game, but I called it 
Giroud was the difference. He was probably their best player today, to be fair. Not a great game at all. 1 0 Milan. Giroud, come on. Fair play to Torino fans. Fair play to them in there. So, to wrap up then, is the San Siro as iconic and special as everyone makes out? Yes. Does it need a refresh and probably knocking down too? Sadly, yes. However, I'd 100% definitely recommend getting over. If you're a football fan and you want to tick off iconic stadiums, San Siro has got to be up there. I'd love to go again. I'd probably love to go and watch Inter Milan this time just to mix it up a little bit. Or ideally, I'd love to go and watch Villa there in some sort of European competition. But yeah, probably not too likely at the moment. So I know this has been a bit of a different video. If you have enjoyed it, please smash a like on it. Comment down below if you have been to the San Siro. If you fancy going following this video, please do let me know. Subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.